Hello, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. Today I'm in Turbyville, South Carolina, 1213 River Bend Lane. Not much um, improvements on this road, so it's kind of a private little home. I can see one here and a couple more around the corner. Uh, this is a brick home, three bedrooms, one bath. It needs some work. It's what I call a fixer-upper but I think you can do pretty good with it knowing that you're starting with a solid foundation and having a brick home. Why don't we head inside and let's take a look around and you decide whether you want to come out and look at this house and then be the buyer. This will be a winner for somebody when you buy these good solid brick homes. Okay, I'm inside the door here at River Bend Road. I told you it was a fixer-upper, uh, but I don't see a whole lot of problems here in this room, but a lot of cleaning. Throw those blinds away. Get all this dust and dirt out of here. Uh, get rid of this carpet. Might be a couple little dings on the wall here and there that you'll need to repair, but you're gonna be prepping the wall anyway. But you can see that carpet needs to go. But I think you got a good start here, a solid house. All right, we're gonna look here. This is our kitchen area. I'm standing in the dining area of the kitchen. You can see there's a, a pretty good distance over there to the cabinets. Uh, here, same thing, just nasty, dirty. Get some cleaning done. Bring our big broom and some trash bags and maybe a shop back, that kind of thing. Uh, these pine panel walls, I do what you're gonna use it for. Uh, I think you could probably salvage those and use them. Or when I was a, uh, young, my daddy painted over them. We had them in our house. All right, this is your kitchen over here. Doesn't look too bad. Countertops don't even look that bad. Um, like, like I said, it's according to what you're gonna use it for. But it's just dirty in here. It needs to be cleaned real good. That's gonna make a big difference, you know? As I look at the tile on this floor, it's not really that bad. You might could uh, you might could salvage this uh, tile if you're going to use it maybe for a rental. And over here is your laundry area, washer dryer. Somebody put their uh, washer in there and they never moved it. Used it for many years, but looks pretty good in here. It'll clean up good. Now I see a door going to the hallway. I'd probably take that door down, but if you don't, you're going to have to replace it. Somebody looked like they pounded it one time too many. All right, we're gonna head down in the back area of the house. Um, this will be in behind that family room we were in. This is a bedroom. We've got a pretty good flowing floor plan. A little dark in here. I've got a little bit of light, not a whole lot. But I don't see a um, bunch of holes punched in the wall or anything, they're pretty smooth. Again, it's more dirt than anything. And you can always clean. Carpet here, gotta go. Seems like here lately, that's my favorite words about carpet. I did see something in the house earlier. But clean and prep, this room, carpet, paint, look like new money. All right, let's go back uh, the other direction. Here's another bedroom. Again, uh, walls aren't punched out. Look pretty good to me. Ceiling looks fine, just needs some cleaning. And uh, you know, carpet, 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 we've talked about that. But if I could get in here and clean this place and uh, get it prepped real good, Get some fresh paint on the walls. I believe I could make it look really good. Paint the doors, get rid of some of these dark colors. This is our bathroom. Um, I have talked about paint that could possibly be used on ceramic tile. I think somebody tried it. That's what that purple 
over green or blue over green is. You might just want to start over here and redo some of this. Um, somebody took the light fixture over the medicine cabinet and I see a little popcorn peeling off the ceiling and probably need a new door here too. You might can patch that door. All right, this is our third bedroom. Same story. It looks pretty nice. Just need some repair work or cleaning and painting. I don't see. I don't know. You know, there's some tile on the floor in this room that might could be salvaged too. Of course, I what you're going to use it for and clean it up, save yourself some money. But this could be this would be a fine home. I'm sure it was when it was brand new and it can be brought back. All right, you've seen the inside. Let's go look around on the outside. Same thing, a little neglect. All right, I'm looking at the front left-hand corner of the house. This is what I was talking about, unkempt. We need a chainsaw, some limb trimming. I'll try to walk back a little bit where you can see it. Maybe a little work on this wood over here. There's something some of y'all won't know what it is. I'll leave that for the guesswork. That was back in the day when we didn't have cable and need to paint this trim. But we did have remote control. I remember my daddy saying, get up and change that channel. That was his remote. And I believe they've got lightning rods on this house. How about that? Might be an antique you can collect a little money with. And the carport, single car carport. If you remember, the laundry was inside, so that'll be strictly storage. And we need some paint, trim, maybe vinyl, that type of thing. The grass hasn't been mowed, but maybe they'll mow it um, before I get back. And I think there's probably some land goes with this house. You don't have to get it surveyed. We're not going to survey it. But there's your shot of the back. There was an air conditioning unit. It's gone. The pad's still here. There it is. Okay, that's going to wrap me up here at Turbyville. It's the only um, house we have in this area. Yeah, three bedroom, one bath brick. You can see it needs some work, but uh, what I call it, fixer upper. Uh, but it's a pretty good house, I think, to get started with. And once you get in there and get it cleaned out and you start putting stuff back in its place, then it goes pretty fast. Hey, a couple of things before you uh, start bidding on this property. Read the contract package. It's under the document section of the menu. It tells you about how much money you need today at an auction how the bidding works, the lawyer fees, the buyer premium, everything's laid out right there. Those are all the forms you're gonna sign when you buy this property. They're pretty simple, but uh, occasionally some people need some clarification, that's fine, give us a call. Our number's at the bottom of the screen, we'll walk you through it step by step. Uh, a lot of people never bid at an online auction, and if you're a first time bidder, bid early in the process. Make sure your bidder number works. You're the one putting in all the information. We don't do that for you. If you make a mistake in the last five minutes trying to register, then it's possible you might not be able to register on this property and uh, be able to bid. But we've sold uh, hundreds, well, probably in the thousands of properties at this online auction. And most of the time the process goes just, just perfect. And that's why we say read the package, ask your questions, then place your bids. All right, I'm gonna move along to another property. Before I do, I encourage you to come out to the inspection. This video certainly is not a home inspection. It's just some things that I observed while I was here and give you a chance to sit in your living room and decide whether you wanna even come out here or not. Also, uh, come, the inspection is on the day before the uh, auction ends, usually from 11 to three. It'll be open for four hours. You can come out here and walk around, do anything you wanna do. 
And remember, nobody will be here at the premises to take your bid. It's all on the internet, and the place to bid and buy is terryhow.com. Hope you found this video helpful, and I hope we'll be doing some business.